if you're not subscribed to Hive TV, I'm gonna find you. Welcome back to the Daily Buzz. I'm Diamond. Wednesday's power focus is on the W, which stands for work ethic. With less than two weeks left in the semester, make sure you're checking grades and turn in any missing assignments. Any seniors planning to attend MCC next year, please see Mr. Covey to sign up to take the AccuPlacer. There will be a music program tomorrow night at Indian Creek Elementary from 6 to 7. Check it out to see how our elementary students are progressing. Now on to Avery with the Worldview. Welcome back to Worldview. Today we will talk about seasonal affective disorder or seasonal depression. As we approach the holidays and continue to withstand darker and longer days, many people may begin to feel unprecedented sadness or tiredness. Not everyone who experiences these symptoms has seasonal depression. Still, if in the past you've had emotional patterns of lethargy or hopelessness that start in October or November and end around March consistently, you may be experiencing some seasonal depression. You should reach out for a professional advice and help. For those who are only experiencing the winter blues, it's common to slow down and withdraw in the wintertime. A lack of vitamin D from the sun is often to blame for our fatigue, sluggish behavior, and worse moods. In addition to that, the holidays tend to cause a resurfacing of grief. The loss of a family member, friend, or loved one is often felt more during this time because they're not around to celebrate. These few months can be difficult for a lot of reasons, but there are ways to make it easier. Talk to someone you trust, whether that be a close friend, a parent or sibling, or a counselor or therapist. Things are often made worse when we let them sit in our brains for days or weeks on end. Spend time outside. It may be cold, but a short walk up your street or deep breaths on your doorstep can do wonders for your mental headspace. Go out and get some fresh air, a bonus if you can get some sun. It's important to take care of yourself during this time. Make sure you're getting what you need to be successful and happy. If you feel like your headspace is attributed to a more serious condition, reach out to a trusted adult or counselor to get the immediate assistance you need. Now, let's check out a broadcast journalism feature from Jathan and Sire about cheating. This video is about cheating. On one hand, it can be seen as means to an end, offering certain advantages, while on the other hand, it undermines a very principle of fairness, integrity, and personal growth. This essay explores the dual nature of cheating and examining both its positive and negative implications of the case of cheating. Cheating undermines the fundamental principles of honesty and integrity. It erodes the trust we place in individuals and institutions, damaging relationships and society as a whole, hinders to personal growth. Cheating deprives individuals of the opportunity to learn and grow through their own efforts. It can also promote a culture of entitlement rather than hard work and perseverance.